Thank you again for all your questions. Now, Lysander Lives Here asks a very interesting question. Where is Michelle Moon? I'm not sure whether her name is Moon or Moni or Moini or Money, but anyway, where is she? Well, yesterday I was in London for most of the day and uh, travelling backwards and forwards by train, I'm afraid I collect newspapers and I was reading all manner of trash and there was a very interesting story uh, yesterday that um, Baroness Moon has been enjoying a break with her husband at a villa that she bought three months after their homes were raided by the police looking into the 200 million PPE deal. You know, all of this hangs on Matt Hancock, doesn't it? And uh, so although they have a London house, an Isle of Man estate, um, a Caribbean home, they acquired a £7 million Argar property um, last July. And they have gone there, they, 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 they're there at the moment where her husband uh, is busy playing his golf and um, they're all, although they're being sued for, I think, £130 million by the Department of Health um, and they claim that they've done nothing wrong, they flew to Portugal um, on a £6 million private jet last week and they've been seen eating out eating out in cafes and restaurants and um, playing in the dunes um, with uh, golf clubs. Um, so Baroness Moon is under a parliamentary standards investigation for her role in winning COVID contracts for a firm that was set up only a few days before she put in the um, proposal. Um, and their homes in both London and the Isle of Man were raided last April by officers of the National Crime Agency who were uh, investigating suspected criminal offences committed in the procurement of PPE contracts by PPE MedPro. And uh, she resigned as director of the company um, earlier um, and insisted that she'd done no that she'd had no role or involvement in the new firm, in the MedPro firm. Um, <clears throat> and uh, she apparently was very disturbed to be filmed um, in Portugal. Why aren't you reporting what they're doing to us? Have you read the defence? Do you, do you expect me to talk to you when you're being... Um, and then she used some sort of rather... 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 rather, um, rather salty language. Um, anyway, whether anything is actually hers, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It's all speculative. But as I say, the tabloid press was full of it yesterday. So thank you very much for Lysander. Thank you very much, Lysander lives here, for that very entertaining and juicy question. Have I answered it? I don't know. I don't know. I've just told you what I think I know.